you are watching the VIP experience. Your boy just signed the contract for Professional Fighters League Challenger Series in Florida. I'm back, baby. Catch me, I think, April 8th. Yeah, catch me April 8th on Fubo TV. PFL Challenger Series, motherfucker. Woo-wee! I'm gonna crash my car. I better fucking pay attention. <laughs> We are getting this work in. I, I gotta see the back. Yeah, there he is. That's my coach. My nigga. All right, let's get back to it. Baby, that's the training rooms right there. Boom, just got a training session in. It's hard to freaking record, but in Florida, they got these scooters just waiting for you to take them. And now there's a fucking homeless guy. I'm gonna hit him. Oh, fuck. Oh, I almost crashed. Ah, uh, Dylan, watch out. I'm gonna crash. That's what I do to Dylan when I, see I have a scooter and he, I told him to get on the back, but he wouldn't get on the back. Oh, I'm gonna die. Sorry. <laughs> How do you feel about the fight? So I was just telling Coach that um, I actually strive under pressure, and uh, when the big lights are on, I do better. I perform better mentally, physically, and this Friday is going to be the biggest fight of my career, biggest opportunity, and honestly, I couldn't be more ready. Um, as you can see in the last episode, I pretty much said the same stuff, you know, felt it in my heart, felt it in my head, and same story here, you know. Um, had to cut a little bit more weight for this fight, because it was at featherweight, but I'm ready. And uh, to be honest with you, you know, I'm gonna bring it out there. I'm gonna show my composure and I'm gonna just put it on. We got Dalen over here, our uh, technical MMA coach. So he came along for the journey and he's gonna show us the way. It's Australia versus Lebanon in this featherweight matchup. Fighting out of Westfield, Massachusetts via underground MMA with a record of seven and two, Ali VIP Zabian. Ali Zebian is a Massachusetts native, but he's representing Lebanon where his parents were born. He said he wants to showcase his roots. He fought three times in one night to win Premier FC Lightweight Tournament in 2021. He said he chose MMA to live an exciting life. Let's meet his opponent. Fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, with a record of eight and two with seven submission wins in the first round. Aaron, the educator Blackie. Aaron Blackie was scheduled to fight in week four, but he had visa issues. He's here now. His nickname is The Educator. He's a teacher in Australia, and he has a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and judo, but he's making his U.S. MMA debut tonight. With that, we'll take a look at our tail of the tape for this featherweight bout that technically is actually a catchweight bout. Ali Zebian did not make weight. He weighed in at 148 pounds. United States Marines present this one. Blackie is two years older. He's also three inches taller and has a reach advantage in both the arms and the legs. All right, one more time. Let me explain how it works. Four fights, four winners, 
Those winners will be narrowed down to two finalists. Celebrity panel, you saw them. They'll weigh in. You, the fans, have a chance to weigh in. And that winner will get a contract and appear in our 2022 PFL season. Our referee, Josh Rutgers, live in the cage, ready to get the action going. Ready? Ready? Begin. No touch of the gloves, but we are underway. Aaron Blackie steps in with a jab. Inside leg kick from Ali Zebian. Another leg kick from Zebian. Oh, and a nice combination. One, two from Ali Zebian. Yeah, and that hurt Blackie for sure. Excellent one, two, and that right hand hurt him again. Game face here from Aaron Blackie. Oh. Zebian landing combinations early here. Yeah, and this is where he can win this fight. He definitely has the striking advantage. Aaron Blackie, more of the submission grappler. But Zebion does come from a wrestling background. He's going to need that sprawl handy against Blackie here. Already a little blood on the nose of Aaron Blackie. Came all the way from Australia for this opportunity. Heavy leg kicks. We're less than a minute into this bout, and already Ali Zebian is. Oh! And the right hand from Aaron Blackie. Yeah, I mean, I knew this was going to be a great fight. Both these guys love to get after it. Very explosive, very powerful. And we're seeing that here in round one. Oh, another, another one. Huge right hand. Aaron Blackie has landed two. Ali Zebian has landed a couple of his own. Yeah, it's been a battle of those right hands. and But so far, Blackie hasn't been able to really utilize his long range here. He's not utilizing that jab. And that's why it's kind of been a battle of those power shots with those right hands. We showed you the tail of the tape. Aaron Blackie has the reach advantage of both the arms and the legs. He is standing a little bit more upright. There he pokes out the long jab, and the right hand comes over again. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see Blackie change levels after landing that right hand now, because he's getting Ali to kind of bite on those feints and bite on those shots as well. Another combination there. Three punches land for Ali Zebian. And now Aaron Blackie gets him to the ground. Tyron Woodley, we're two minutes in and already a lot of action. You know, from grapplers, this is the first time we've seen some actual contact in the mat. Before we saw lightweight, welterweight power coming from featherweights. No matter if it's a catch weight or not, a lot of power, a lot of durability. Some punches were eight, and we see some take now. So let's see what happens in this grappling exchange. You know, it's just interesting because I, I saw the same thing, Tyron. Like, I'm watching them, right? And I'm saying, who's going to take the first guy down, right? Because it's just a fist fight right now. But do you see Blackie take control of him on the mat? I think this can be the difference. I'm liking, I like the ground game. Um, I'm liking the stand up, a lot of feints, a lot of one twos. See ya. Blood in the cage already here. Three minutes gone in the first round. Blood on the nose of Aaron Blackie. Blood in the mouth of Ali Zebian, whose back and shoulders are glued to the mat. Kenny, you talked about this, the grappling advantage to Aaron Blackie. Yeah, that's right. This is where Aaron Blackie really is at his best. He's looking to try to advance position into mount. If he posts his head on the mat, he'll look to try to push that right leg down of Zebion to try to advance position there. So far, not really able to do it. He is controlling that upper body very well, though, and pinning the shoulders of Zebion quite well. Just not landing a whole lot of shots in this position. He's got to be careful not get, uh, you know, have the referee stand them up. Aaron Blackie, eight wins. All eight are finishes. Seven of those are submissions. This is good position here for Aaron Blackie. He, he's going to try to climb through that guard now from half guard. He just needs to straighten that left leg Watch the back legs the head. from the half guard of Zebion will kind of head. slide down. Not able to do it right so far, though. And Zebion definitely showing some blood there in the mouth. There's the side control from Aaron Blackie as he advances position. Well done there. Thirty seconds remain in the first round. We'll see if Aaron Blackie can mount any significant offense here. 
credit to Ali Zebian. He's been on his back, but he's been holding Aaron Blackie down and really minimizing what damage can be done from that top position, Kenny. He is. He's not getting any points for that, though. Still allowing Aaron Blackie to control him. He needs to do something to try to get back to his feet, but looks like he's going to run out of time here, and uh, this is a good finish to the round for Aaron Blackie. Big shot. Nice work by Blackie to move the defense and get one more right hand in. Round number one comes to an end. Great first round of action here in our final week of the Challenger Series. Yeah, no question about it. Great start to the round there. Beautiful one-two from Ali Zebion. Missed with that right hand there. And then Aaron Blackie started to come back, landed a beautiful right hand there. Got his attention. Another big right hand. But I think the difference in that round was the takedown. Here's that little level change right into that body lock. He's got double underhooks. Utilizes that body like a lever, goes high with his head, pulls in the, at the waist and gets the takedown. Yeah. An impressive first five minutes. Two more rounds to go potentially in this. Featherweight bout. Watch the back of the head. Yeah. Round two underway. Aaron Blackie, the Australian in the black trunks. Zebian with the inside leg kick in the gray. Yeah, that, that's a strike he utilizes often. That's a good way to weaken that lead leg and slow down an opponent. Tries to go upstairs. Little slip, and he bounces right back to his feet. Patient approach here from Aaron Blackie, taking the center of the cage. And there's a nice jab from Blackie. He's starting to get that going. Nice level change by Zebion. Grabs that single leg. We'll see if he can finish it. Aaron Blackie, a national level judo and jiu-jitsu practitioner out of Australia, has great hips. It'll be tough to take him down. We mentioned that Ali Zebian did not make the featherweight limit. He didn't make weight. Kenny, when you're watching how that translates or does that translate into a fight, where do you stand? Well, it's interesting because we did see him slow down. We saw Ali slow down a little bit towards the end of that round, even before the takedown. So um, whether you know that has to do with him expending too much energy or having trouble struggling with that weight cut uh, remains to be seen. He seems like he's in a much better position here and he's working for that takedown, but uh, I think those are the effects that we may see in round three. Ali Zebian is on the offensive here. He's got Aaron Blackie on one leg, tries to step through with the trip. Ray Lewis, is Ali Zebian gonna finish this takedown? You know what, I think either he has to finish it or abort the mission, mm. right? Because if he, I think he's giving Aaron more rest than anything laying up against the gate the way he is right now. So I think he has to make a decision really quickly. All right, T. Wood, I'll go to you. How does he finish this thing if he's going to? You know, the thing about it, we talk about economy of motion. We talk about the weight cut. We talk about um, is he, is going to be a factor in this case. If you don't have a takedown where you land in major ground and pound, I disagree with his coaches. They told him to settle in. That's wrestling. MMA, you don't settle. Get him off guard. Get him off balance. Finish quick. Let them fall by themselves. Wiz Khalifa, you especially don't settle into anything when there's only one contract to give away at the end of the night. Yeah, these dudes, are, uh, they're banging for this contract, and they're pretty evenly matched. Um, the, the, the ground game is pretty even. Their stand-up is kind of even. So, yeah, they, they just got to turn up. Scissors, scissors, scissors. All right, uh, a little timeout me, from the referee, just cutting some tape off, some errand tape off the glove. You ready? Ready? And I tell you Again. what, Sean, Ali is definitely bleeding a lot out of that mouth here in round two. You see that blood on the back of that left shoulder of Aaron Blackie. That's from the mouth of Ali. And he's been spitting up blood onto the canvas as well. Couple of jabs missed for, and the right hand this time, Zabian is able to get out of the way. Good. Hands up. Hands up. 
Yeah, Aaron's starting to get a little bit more aggressive with his combinations. He just has to make sure that he doesn't throw himself off balance with those punches. Ali Zebian is keeping some of that offense at bay with those kicks. Yes. He's gone to work on that lead leg. There, the right hand snuck over the top. 90 seconds remain in the second round. Interesting strategic change, it would appear, for Ali Zebian, who now switches stances. Well, that's what he needs to do. He needs to make up that range difference with those legs. He's doing a good job with it. I'm just surprised that Aaron Blackie isn't taking advantage with, of his reach by trying to back up Ali. That's going to take away the leg kicks and establish his range with that jab. Oh, nice level change. Ali able to limp leg out of that takedown attempt. He goes for his own. You can see the Cajunomic stats down there at the bottom of your screen. Ali Zebian has now taken over the striking totals once again. 18 of those kicks have already landed. Oh, big right hand there by Aaron Blackie. Excellent counter on that leg kick. Ali throwing a lot of kicks this round, Sean. You see that blood come out of the mouth of Ali Zebion as he tries to work a double leg takedown. We'll try to finish with a takedown. Aaron Black, he's able to negate that, and we will finish round number two. Another back and forth affair. The output certainly in the favor of Ali Zebion there in round number two. The accuracy probably the other way. Yep. We definitely got the oh, first. He might have taken the second. Well, I don't know if he started the fight with all of his teeth, but there's one miss in there, it would appear. Yeah, definitely. If you throw the two over the top. And it's an unusual amount of blood coming from his mouth there, so that could definitely be the case. You see the cornerman icing his chin there. And when he stumbles, man, get on his ass. You heard the man, let's go. Seconds out from the third and final round in this bout. Starting the night with an interesting affair at 145 pounds. Little check from the doctor here for Ali Zebian. Checking to see what kind of damage was in the mouth there. Ali Zebian says he's fine. Jaw does not appear to be broken. You're good. One more five minute round. Inside leg kick there from Ali Zebian. He's gone back to that well many, many times. We'll see if it pays dividends here. Sends one up high but misses. Yeah, Aaron Blackie choosing to go second here for the most part. Typically, you see when you, when you're the rangier fighter, you tend to try to back up your opponent, use that range, use those long-range weapons. And Aaron has chosen to try to counter the shorter Ali Zebia. Back and forth affair at 145 pounds. Because of the Challenger Series format, Kenny Florian, it begs the question, right? Interesting fight, but you're not just trying to beat the man in front of you. You've got to impress the celebrity panel and the fans and get one contract out of the eight fighters on the card tonight and the four winners. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. And now, th listen, this is a competitive matchup, but all of the fights tonight are going to be competitive. Uh, I think they're well-matched fights. But, yeah, you got to do something to stand out. Uh, and things have kind of slowed down in round two and round three. Still a good fight. But you got to do something special if you want this contract. A lot of excellent fighters tonight. Aaron Blackie reset, 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 reset. shoots in, grabs hold of Ali Zebian. He'll now pull his legs and hips away from the cage. 
Zebian posting that right hand, but the pressure from Aaron Blackie overcomes that resistance for now. He's doing a good job of tying up those legs there. All right, Tyron Woodley, these guys want to finish after a competitive fight. How do you set it up from this spot? Well, they definitely want to finish from this position. If I'm Blackie, I'm really trying to attack the back. He's showing that he has the ability to finish fights with submission. But one thing I'm seeing is we need more head motion from our lead, and we need more double jab crosses from Aaron Blackie. That way he can utilize his range. He's already shown right there. His right hand is vicious and is very accurate. Give himself a chance to line it up with a double jab and then blitz through with it. And it was Zebian who tried to send one back. <laughs> 61 strikes landed now for Ali Zebian. He misses with another kick. All right, Ray Lewis. Not only do these gentlemen have to win this fight, they've got to impress you and Wiz and Tyron and the fans. Jab, jab, cross. How's that effort going? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm just saying from both guys, right? It started kind of competitive, but everybody's looking for the home run, right? Blackie and Zebian. They're both looking for the one punch. It's not the one punch. It's everything. It's putting it all together. And then, and stop wasting time. Like, they're, they're locking up. When you lock up, get rid of it very quickly and abort mission because time is not on your side tonight. You have to do way more than just win. Zebian pressing Aaron Blackie against the cage. Head outside, single attempt here. Blood trickling from the mouth of Ali Zebian onto the shorts of Aaron Blackie, who cannot get the representative of Lebanon off that leg. Oh. He tries that jumping knee of defense there. Now he's going to look like he might go for that rolling Kimura. The cage is kind of in the way. He goes for it anyway. He hits it, gets on top. That was gorgeous. You know, he did the same thing at the very end of a round and just ran out of time to use it. Now can he do something on the back with one minute remaining? Nice body lock takedown. Zebion trying to hit that switch. He gives his back. Wiz Khalifa real quick. What do you think of these two featherweights? Uh, I'm with the homies on this one, man. Winning's not enough. They got to uh, show up and show out. Uh, Blackie's, you know, he's got a lot of uh, good, really good takedown defense, and he's working them on the ground. So uh, Ali, them, them inside leg kicks ain't going to do it. We got to step up and uh, really, really get something going in this fight. Beautiful display of grappling there by Ali Zebi, and he hit the sitting switch, and then he was able to to trip Aaron Blackie to his back, and now he'll try and finish this bout on top. Aaron Blackie trying to work his way back to his feet as we approach 10 seconds remaining. Zebian will pick him up and try and set him back down, and he does successfully as time comes to a close. Blackie to his feet one more time. Very, very interesting fight. Tough one to score, especially in the first and third rounds, I think. Ali Zebian thinks he's done enough. We'll figure out what the judges think and hear from our celebrity panel when we return on Fubo TV. Take a look at our next level Cajunomics post-fight stats. You see the takedowns in favor of Aaron Blackie. All those strikes, though, favoring Ali Zebian, who had a couple takedowns of his own. And here's the car parts damage meter. You see the kicks, that left leg of Aaron Blackie taking some damage. And that's where Ali really was uh, doing a great job getting those kicks going to the inside and outside of the leg of Aaron Blackie. You see 40 strikes landed to the head there. Some excellent back and forth action from both men. And uh, Sean O'Connell has the official decision. Sean. All right, in our first bout of the evening, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the fight 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Ali Zebian. Yeah! yeah! That's how you fucking VIP! Do it. Hey, great job. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming out, man. How we do it? 413, baby. All right, first time out, you came down here as an alternate. Yes, sir. You talked about how I went home empty-handed. I didn't even get a chance to step in. 
you get a chance to step in, you come away with a victory. How does that feel? Feels great. You know, I'm made to be here, professional fight league. I made it, you know, I'll do anything for this, you know, put my blood, sweat, and tears in this. Everybody back in a home underground MMA with these boxing, Springfield Fist Society, thank you so much for helping out. And we did it. All right, let's hear what the celebrity panel thought of that performance. Julie Stewart-Binks, over to you. Ali Zebian with his fourth straight win. Tyron, what did you take away from his performance tonight? I mean, Julia, to keep it real, for this particular setting, this was a second chance. I felt like the urgency from both fighters to go out there and really show us they're the next star they deserve a contract. I don't know if I saw the urgency there. Winning the fight, maybe in a different setting, yeah, go out there and get the win, get the victory. But in this setting, we want to see a star. We want to see the finishes. We want to see people really go after it. And I feel like they both had opportunity early where they hurt each other, and then they kind of played it safe, yeah. both of them. So um, that's what I see yeah. from it. And, um, you know, I'm just keeping it real with him. First winner of the night, Ali Zebian. Hey, guys, I got the win. Please, everybody, go vote for me right now, baby. Yo, Ali Zebian. Vote him up, please. Let's go. It's the man. VIP time. Guy, like, he's wrestler guy, man. He's a, he's a wrestler guy. He's trying to get you down to the mat. He's just a guy. Man, we... <laughs> good shit, Ali. Yeah. It's a good fight with him, yeah, man. Yeah, that hurt block you for sure. He caught, 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 caught. He's good, he's good. I was going to see him. Come on, Ali. See how he stayed in the center? No, he stayed in the center. He's doing good. Oh, he's he's Fuck him up, Ali. Oh, Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Hands are fast and he's strong. He's going to wait. Nice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Yo, bro. Bro. It's gonna be a wrap. That was a great fight. Look at the total strikes. Look at the total strikes! Oh, shit! It's not even close. Forget about it. It's not even fucking close. It's like water. Yes! yes! Woo! Woo! Here we go, Ali. Let's go, let's go. Keep the pressure. Let's go, Ali. Let's go, Ali. Up, up, up. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Nice. Now it's your time. Single. High, high cross, high cross. Quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now. Yo, so for everyone who watched my fight last night, thank you so much. I broke my jaw in the first round. And I got hit in my eye. And I got surgery. So as soon as I got hit, I couldn't see. And actually, it was this eye. And he threw a big overhand right while my eye was closed, and he broke my jaw in the first round. So I toughed it out for the second round and the third round, and I ended up winning. But right now, my jaw is fucked. He's hospital. It's taking forever. I've been here since 12 at night. I've been in so much pain right now. It's getting better, but... What's going on? Hey. VIP, bro. We over here with my boy Dirk. What's up? How you doing? Doing good, my Did man. Did you have this up? <laughs> Try to keep up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For well, sure. Um, so we lost a little bit of weight, so. All right, we, all right. We, we gotta regain it right now. You feeling any better? Yeah, I feel a little bit better. You know, but you know, um, glad that I got the win, and uh, looking forward to getting this shit out. <laughs> yeah. Your jaw got broken, by the way. Um, right here and right here. So okay, so side. it was the left it, side. It probably was that yeah. right cross then. Well, what happened yeah. was, since I got the laser eye surgery, my eye was still sensitive. So he would jab me in the eye and I'd close it, and then he'd throw an overhand right. So I couldn't see it coming. But hey, we stuck through it, you know. I yeah, yeah, you fucking yeah. got it. You warriored your way through oh, it, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. most people would have just thrown it as soon as they something happened with their job. Oh, like, 100%. You, you, you showed the game, you showed the showmanship, yeah. and you, you made you made splashes and waves there. I don't like that shit, though. You, you see the blood pour, and they get that primal energy yeah, going in the yeah. crowd, and that's what gets people standing up. Dude, I knew, like, in the foot, I was like, man, something's wrong, you know? When I'm in the corner, like, what the fuck? You know, like, teeth are, like, all over the place, and I'm like... Dude, this is not right. I just want to say, seriously, mad respect oh, for like that. Now, you you managed to push through it. You didn't over focus on the pain or what's no. wrong with my jaw. You know, no, maybe I should take care of it. You focused on the year and now. And it's like, oh, yeah. honestly, mad fucking respect. Yeah, I, 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 I feel feel that. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Two weeks after the fight, how do you feel? Um, I'm definitely itching to go back and train, but I can't. I'm still healing from my jaw. The healing is going good. I can't wait to get back in there. 
the future is looking good for me. Left a good, great impression on PFL's mind, and I really hope to get back in there. But in the meantime, we're gonna enjoy our time and uh, just recover. I'm gonna go for a little ride. So, I might not be able to do my adrenaline in the cage, but I got a little new hobby we're doing. The future is looking bright for us, and we're just getting started. Boom, boom, boom.